All right, let's go ahead and see an actual example now. So we're going to find the greatest common factor, or GCF, of 20 and 44, the two numbers that we looked at in an earlier video. So 20 we already put in a factor tree, but let's just go ahead and do it again for the sake of completion here. So 20 we know is 4 times 5, and 4 splits up into 2 times 2. So 2 and 5 are prime numbers, so they can't be split up any further. So what we just found out then is 20 is 1 times 2 times 2 times 5. Now we're also going to put 44 in a factor tree, so let's go ahead and do that. So 44 splits up into 11 times 4. 11 is a prime number, cannot be split up any further. 4 splits up into 2 times 2. So what we just found out then is 44 is 1 times 2 times 2 times 11. So let's go ahead and write that down. 44 is 1 times 2 times 2 times 11. Now here's how we find the greatest common factor. So now that we've put both these numbers into factor trees and split them up into their prime factors, what we're going to do is look and say, okay, 20 and 44, which factors do they have in common? Well, here's a factor of 1 they have in common. Here's a factor of 2 they have in common. Here's another factor of 2 they have in common. Now 20 also has a factor of 5, 44 does not. 44 is a factor of 11, but 20 does not. So these are the only factors they have in common, the 1, the 2, and the 2. So then the greatest common factor, or the GCF, is the 1 they have in common multiplied by the first 2 they have in common multiplied by the second 2 they have in common. So the greatest common factor, GCF, is 1 times 2 times 2, which is 4.